It's going to put him on there now. Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to my Christmas special! Hope you're all having a real festive time. Hope you're getting into the Christmas spirit. What do you think of that song? That's pretty crazy. The 12 Days of Christmas. Never did understand it. But as crazy as that song is, it actually has a lot of deeper meaning to it. And I'm going to explain that deeper meaning right now. It's got a lot of it's in, intrinsic biblical truths. And uh, it was written by Martin Luther back in the early 1500s. So the 12 days of Christmas. It starts off with, on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. And what that means actually is my true love is God and what he gave to us on the 25th of December was his son Jesus Christ but he gave him to us so that he would die for us one day on the cross on the tree so the reason why he's compared to as a partridge uh, not far from where I live uh, there's a town that has partridges all over the place and they're very interesting because you see the mother partridge leading the young in a straight and narrow line but if there was a predator around uh, they're a bird that's usually on the ground so the mother partridge will separate herself from the young and actually sacrifice herself to save the others and that is exactly what we see Jesus did for us it's very interesting a partridge in a pear tree so in the Bible a pear tree stands for um, nourishment longevity it even is a reference to Adam and Eve and uh, the tree of life. Out of all the fruit trees, a pear tree symbolizes specifically fertility and spiritual nourishment. Two turtle doves refers to the Old and New Testament. The third day of Christmas, uh, my true love gave to me three French hens. The three French hens is symbolic of faith, hope, and love. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds. The four calling birds refers to the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They are the calling birds. And Jesus specifically said before he left, be sure to go out into all the world and preach the Gospels. These are the calling birds. So on the fifth day of Christmas, there's five golden rings. These five golden rings represent the first five books of the Old Testament. And on the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese Elaine. Six geese refers to the first six days of creation, right? Because on the seventh day, God rested, and that's our Sunday. On the seventh day of Christmas, there were the seven swans of swimming. The seven swans refers to, we got baptism, confirmation, reconciliation, anointing, marriage, confession of the sick, and holy communion. So that's your seven. On the eighth day, it's uh, the eight maids of milking, and this stands for the eight beatitudes uh, that Jesus taught about on the mount. Uh, you'll find this teaching in both the book of Luke chapter six, or in the book of Matthew chapter five. So the Beatitudes are as follows. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Uh, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. On the ninth day of Christmas, there was the nine ladies dancing. This stands for the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. And it is spoken of in the Bible in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. So I'm just going to read it right out, of the, right out of the book. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, 
gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. On the tenth day of Christmas, there was the ten lords of leaping, and that stands for the Ten Commandments. Now, I don't know if there's guys jumping around when they, you know, list off each of the Ten Commandments, but it's actually code that they used in a chant. And it what first started off as a chant, not a, not a song, because if you were to speak of these things in the days of Martin Luther, he and his followers would be persecuted and even possibly brought to death. So that's how serious it was. And that's why the, this song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, was so important at the time when it was made. Um, and like so much of the Bible, uh, it, is, it is like code. And when Jesus speaks and it's in parables, to me that too is just another form of code and it's very much similar to this. It's just like a big old parable. On the 11th day of Christmas, there was the 11 pipers piping. This stands for the 11 faithful apostles. And it says that they were piping because, you know, well, they were just, you know, piping off. And on the 12th day of, of Christmas is the 12 drummers drumming. And this stands for the 12 points of doctrine in the Apostles' Creed. So the Apostles' Creed is this. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, who is our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And so there you have it. That's the 12 days of Christmas. It's completely explained. So I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas with your family and friends, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. May God richly bless you. Drink lots of eggnog, and remember to hit the notifications bell, like this video, and subscribe. Bye for now. So stay tuned. That was the message, but this is the extended cut. Look out below! Ho, 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 ho!
This is scary. I'm gonna need some practice. I have to do some ninja training. Yeah.